think we roll, throw your hands up. People outside up in your eyes, turn this damn up. My songs are legendary. The hottest shit this century is live wire. It's woo Wednesday. Woo Wednesday. Woo Wednesday. Like, share, follow, subscribe. DJ Loudwire, Frank Jackson. Woo. Yes, and we are going live with Young Dirty Best. Dating the movements of animals as he sat around the cave fire. And so the tradition was handed down. But there was no system to it, nor any structure. Until the abbot of Shaolin, concerned for the well-being of his mother's you know what I'm saying? I'm a young, dirty bastard. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like it. You know what I'm saying? Young, dirty, get it popping. From the East Coast to the West Coast, from the South Side to the inside, from the North Side to the downtown. It's Woo Wednesday. Woo Wednesday. DJ Loudwire, Rain Jackson. Today's special guest celebrity in the building is no other than YDB. Young, dirty bastard. Yeah. Follow, subscribe. Like, share, follow, and subscribe. You tried to blame me, but boy, this is where I'm from. Where I'm from. You tried to stop me in the middle of my cum. My cum. She said, pull out. She said, pull out. I said, when I'm done. Where you from? Where you from? I said, while we wait for uh, YDB to tap on it, we're going to pull up some of that live wires radio show. Yeah, we're waiting for YDB to tap on in, better known as Boss Sean Unique The streets smell like fish. Tell Catwoman to zip her up for one. Peace, I'm done. Your caviar is overcooked for one. Stretch my arm to Mickey D's. My fish filet is done. Sprite on deck, mix it with some fruit punch. You're an orange without Florida. Where you from? Man, I'm a great mom. Mama on the See the ODB. We got the young guard, Bob Sean. Right here representing the ODB. Make some work for Boy Jones, yo. And what's hey, good, yeah. y'all? What's good? Like the young DB. All right, motherfuckers. You know who the this is. You know the legacy. Do you know where I come from? And they about to know where I'm going. This is who? This is who? This is who? Dirty, dirty, young, dirty bastard. Dirty, dirty, young, dirty bastard. Oh, like step the fuck back, bitch. System malfunction. System malfunction. Dirty, dirty, young, dirty bastard. Follow, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Woo Wednesday, YDB, Young Dirty Bastard. Dirty came, conquered, and the process motivated millions. His legacy will never die. He's missed by his family, his friends, his fans. Old Dirty Peace. Peace. Hey! They got a god! They got a god! Boom! 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 Hey, you something to build it, young dirty bastard! You already fucking know. <laughs> What's good, God? How you doing? I'm good. I'm doing good. You know, taking care of the babies, playing Xbox and shit. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, babies. I got the babies. Yeah. yeah, I love the babies. Well, what kind of video games y'all playing today, man? I was playing the 2K, you know. Okay, yeah, okay. What's your favorite team? Oh, you know Lakers, without a doubt, right now. Oh, okay. okay, okay, LA, LA. Yeah. LA. yeah. 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 Who you going right, for in this playoffs? Since you know LA's not in it no longer, who you going for? No, that's I've been watching all of the games, and it really depends on who make it to the end <laughs> because Back. everybody keep getting hurt, you know. Yeah. Back. And so. Back. If if Clippers go, I got the Clippers. But if the Hawks make it, you know, that'll be cool. <laughs> ATL, okay. ATL. Yeah, you yeah. already know. Yeah, it's been years. It's been years since they've been there. So uh -huh. that'll be a good look. Everybody needs a turn. I had, yeah. you know, Brooklyn. I, I would, if, if Los Angeles Lakers wasn't in it, I had Brooklyn. But, you know, Kevin Durant fucked up. <laughs> facts, facts, yes, yes, facts. Yes. No one was expecting that one. Right? <laughs> we got one DP up in the building. In the yeah. Building. Yeah. yeah. You were just on stage, G O D, doing mm -hmm. your thing. Uh Judah Priest, Dungeon Master. 
Uh, I believe y'all was out here in Colorado, right, Denver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out yeah, to Yeah, had the marijuana branches yeah, yeah. and stuff popping off. Yeah. Bill for the people, God. Oh, yeah, that, that was, you know, unexpected, you know, because I was out there with my baby mama. She about to have my seventh baby and shit. And she was throwing up the whole fucking time, you know, but I went out that night and, you know, to really perform and get out my philosophy. I got a new strand a new bud coming out in Colorado, and I'm just trying to promote it. Mm, what's the name of it? What's the name of the bud? Yeah, it's called Philosophy, and it's three strands. It's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I can smell it now. I, I can smell it. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yeah. See, now you That's caught us because you dropped one jewel already uh -huh. during, you know, Ooh, Wednesday. Yeah. He said uh -huh. he got seven. Uh, yeah, seven, seven seeds. Seven seeds. Yeah. That's perfection. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You're, you're right. spreading your oats. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. What's, what's, the yeah. age, what's the age range? You say, what's the age range? You, the age range of your children. What's the age range? What you mean? Yeah. The age like, range. How, how old, old are the, the kids? One? How young is the guy? Oh, uh, I'm not about to be calling all their names. <laughs> Shout out to our Shout out to you know that. <laughs> nah, but you know that uh, my first daughter, my first baby is Earth. You know, I had to do that first because God created Earth first. Yeah. Earth. Okay, how, how old is what I'm asking is how old? Oh, my, my oldest is 12. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. So you got the babies yeah. for real, for real. Yeah, he got the little Yeah, ones. yeah. My youngest, you know, he ain't, she ain't here yet, so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. That's yeah, what's up. That's what's you look right. so much like your dad and your I brothers know, and right? your sisters, man. That bloodline is strong, man, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we all do, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all do. We all uh, look like Are you up parents. in the lab? Are you doing your thing in the lab? Uh, We've been dropping uh all your music since the God Hour. Uh, okay. We dropped the whole album of Young Dirty Bastard, uh, Dirty Tomorrow. Uh, we dropped um, ooh, we dropped some of your dad stuff, Ghetto uh -huh. Superstar as well, Triumph. Yeah. Um, welfare. Welfare, of course. We yep. popped that off, and we did the video. Yeah, we just did. Yeah. We just yeah, we dropped the video, the video for that as well. Uh, -huh. uh Zodiac. We dropped Zodiac. Yeah. The people uh -huh. love that. Yeah. Yeah, the people love that. Um, also the song collaboration you did with the East Coast Killer Bees called You, You, Why You Acting Crazy. Yeah, I can't sing like you, though, but it was fire. It was fire, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it all. Right now, I'm just going through a, like a, basically a rebirth of music. I had to, you know, I make thousands. We all make music all day long, but it's what we put out. And I had to understand what I was putting out. Maybe it wasn't the best shit for the critics all the time. So now I harness all my gifts and my powers. Now I'm going to put out, you know, what I've been blessed with. That ability of coming down after the epidemic and the pandemic and shit. Facts. Yeah, facts. That's what's facts. Saying. That's what's saying. Now we see you making moves during this COVID-19. TV oh, yeah. episodes on repeat, on tour with the Wu-Tang brothers and all that stuff, right. holding that down. Um, I truly believe, as we search the internet um, today, that they're going to do a celebration for your dad with the hologram, and you're going to be there as well. Oh, okay. So that was back in 2013. Oh, we did okay, that okay. That's the internet yeah. for you, man. Yeah, we yeah. did that already. You know, it, it was peace. You know, that was back. That was back then, but. It's good for the repeat our history and talk about it, you know. Facts, facts, yeah, facts. So what's going on now? Current date? No, okay, okay. I can tell you one thing that's current right now. You're in Rolling Stones, Rolling Stone uh -huh. magazine. Okay. Now that's current. I, I I I don't know. I didn't see it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta go check that out. Yeah. I got it right here. You gotta go check it out. They That's got you up there. You're talking about you, your sister, your brothers. Oh, okay. Brother. See, I know what you're talking about now. So when you say <laughs> current, I'm thinking about today, yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Word, word, yeah. word. Yeah. So yeah, I think it was. Was it? What was it? Vibe that put that out. You talking about? Yeah, it was, this is Rolling Stone. Yeah, it was two of my sisters, and we was on a ferry. Yeah, I think they got the same pictures over here in Rolling Stone. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Rolling Stone for even connecting that work. Yeah, yeah. You already know, man, for showing love and support and all that good stuff, man. That mighty, mighty W. 
That's right. Oh, yeah, they just they just took me off right here. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm just, you know, every day I wake up and I, I don't really eat nothing. It gets to the end of the day where shit gets shaky. <laughs> then, uh -huh. you know, yeah, because my moms and everybody, they want to cook. And my children screaming, I'm hungry. I'm like, that's what make that's what make me eat. I'm re I'm really a person that's trying not to eat, if anything. Right. Mm, okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah, the do, less you, we eat, you eat once the a day. More we see, you know. Yeah. Are you eating once a day? Yeah. I mean that that that's the problem. I'm trying not to eat. <laughs> so at all. Yeah. No, I mean just for a period of time, you know. Is oh, that okay. because you're fasting, or that's just yeah, your it's way definitely of because I'm fasting? It's, it's nothing, you know, better than fasting. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Facts. 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 Yeah, we live in a world where it's a lot of animals being consumed, so we got to slow down and do things in moderation. Mm. Yeah, it's like a cleansing. You just kind of cleanse. Yeah, it. it's definitely a cleansing. Uh -huh. It's like because when you eat animals, it hurts like everything in your stomach, and your stomach is connected to your feet. So you can't even play basketball how you want to play basketball. That's right. Yeah. Your yeah. feet start hurting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The yeah. blood, the blood starts swelling in your feet and your hands, and then you get arthritis. Right. Yeah. That's but, jewel number two. Yeah, jewel number two. Learning how to eat to live. That's learning, right. Yeah. Right. Making sure you uh taking your herbals though, right? You keeping your strength up and you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Know, Gotta you keep the herbals. Consume food in order to consume nutrients. Two different. That's right. Things. Yeah, that's what's up. That's good. Oh, y'all dropping it. Y'all dropping it. I learned something new today. Uh -huh. <laughs> dropping the juice. That's yeah. very important. And yeah. drinking your water, right? Oh, yeah. Without water, man, I'll be one lazy motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Drink plenty yeah. of water and do my YDD. Yeah. 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 What's your, what's Definitely your got the, uh, the Kagan water that I'm working with. Oh, uh, go back. Now, say that again. Yeah, talk about that. Yeah, you know, Kagan water is, to me and the people that have been represented with me, that's one of the best waters on the whole planet. That's okay. that's being sold. Uh -huh. And it's, you know, it's a big organization. I'm surprised it's not in all the stores, I guess, because they don't want everybody to have that water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's facts. They don't make money. They don't, want, they don't want all the babies to be geniuses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Many are called, cool, few are chosen. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, you can't make. Well, shout out to the whole Kagan, you know, the whole Kagan water word. Yeah, Big shout out to Kagan that's water. Up. That's what's up. Kagan yeah. water. We gotta look into that because I don't, I don't think I'm ever drinking that. I think I'm, I'm just sticking with different brands of alkaline. Well, the, the truth is, the machine, the person who gave me the machine. She was a woman that I was dealing with back then, and she let me hold the machine for my babies. She let me hold the motherfucker. So <laughs> I got to use the machine. Yeah, she said, I need that machine, machine back, motherfucker. So, <laughs> yo, the, yeah, the thing about the machine is $5,000. Okay. Ooh. So, ooh. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, it's not oh, a game. That's a campaign right there. That's a campaign. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you, my, my grandparents yeah. have that one. It's like the, like you, uh, connected to your water faucet or something and it has like this little long spout like this long skinny spout is that what you're talking about yeah it's definitely connected to the faucet you connect yeah. it to the shower any any water you use it gotta be your ph levels gotta be at nine you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah yeah word, word, word. Water. Oh, okay yeah, the, that's the other true. thing about it you know how you can't take no water to the airport through the airport uh -huh. yeah you always make it throw out your bottles and shit yeah. So we tested it. We brought this water, like a whole gallon of it. And they said, what's the pH levels? They was asking us questions. We said, it's like 10. They said, okay, you can go through. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because yeah. of the pH level. That's kind of yeah, they, yeah. they They don't want you to bring none of that poison. <laughs> but they wow. said, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Jewel that makes four. sense. That's jewel number four. So be very careful about the water that you buy in the store. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, yeah. check the pH level. Yeah, yeah, especially um, I, I read an article about that Dasani no, water, and Dasani water has mm -hmm. other elements that continue to make you thirsty. Has different salt and preservatives in it. So while you're drinking it, you're you're still thirsty because you know the idea is so you can keep buying more Dasani mm -hmm. water. So you really never know what they're they're putting into your water to you know to keep you drinking it and buying it. So wow. you, gotta, you really got to research um, the best waters. Like, yeah, they, they, you know, they got a little smart when it came to the consumers. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. What deep is right. up in the building? So, so what does your everyday life looks like now that you're rapping, you got albums out, you've been on TV? The transformation, what does it look like from day to day? Uh, Just trying to keep everything going, really. Because so with these babies, sometimes you just want to fall to rest. You say, yeah. fuck the world. <laughs> you, you wake up, you wake up, you got to change them again. You wake up, you got to change them again. You got to feed them. And then you also got to know that you got to treat yourself as good as you treat your babies. Because mm -hmm. you, a parent, a mother or a father will forget about themselves. Mm -hmm. And be making sure the child is like looking like the prince of Egypt. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I just know that I got to care for myself as well as I care for them. Yeah, they need you healthy and strong. That's right. Yeah, that's without right. me, there's no them. Yeah, that's true. Facts. You got some years to go. <laughs> <laughs> he just started. Yeah, I got yeah. He just started. Yeah. That's so right. what's the process you go through uh, when you're recording? Because you have a whole family, like, and then you have music. For me, it's very hard to juggle both. You're doing it on a major scale with a lot more added to it a lot more responsibilities to come. How are you, I mean, not to get into your business, but we are interviewing them, right? So how do you go upon managing that, keeping yeah. that on a, on a level, on a good scale? Shit, on a good scale? It start with the beat, the me. I gotta hear that fire beat. Sometimes, you know, I might write a freestyle off the dome or just spilling in, I catch a vibe. But when I hear the beat, that, that's the inspiration. That's how it starts. And I get my beats from anywhere in the universe. Mm. You know, I don't have one, one particular beat maker. Whoever make the, the hottest track is what I'm, I'm going to jump to. You know? okay. And I feel like we all get credit for what we do. I, mean, I never got paid off a song yet. <laughs> so I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm, I'm out here hustling. So when it comes to music, I got paid off of toys. I got paid off of selling mixtapes. But then when it comes for like a hit song, like a Drake song, I ain't get paid for that shit yet. You know what I'm saying? But you're still waiting for that, basically. Well, the thing about it that a lot of artists don't understand that you got to have a million dollars to be doing that, you know? Or better. Every time Drake come out, he puts up a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to, you got to uh, invest in yourself as an artist. So you can yes, it, it's not really a regular investment. It's like you got to understand if you really want to go forth in doing that because yeah. you make a million dollars in life, you're not trying to throw that nowhere. You're trying to keep that in the family. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're trying to preserve yeah. it like a fossil. Yeah. You don't really want to throw a million dollars away when you started on welfare and the projects and shit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's so true. So I'm also thinking about what's the next move in like two more years for uh, mm. 2023. Okay, what's your five-year goal? What's your five-year plan? Yeah. My five-year, well, we used to have all have a five-year goal, but at the end of the day, it up. Yeah, it's COVID. Yeah, it's the yeah, pandemic you, slowed you everything that's down. That's I had a five-year goal, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no, but, uh, it's also I, I, by, by 2023, I was telling my mother yesterday that I see myself building, like, I know it's not easy to even think about this as a black man, but you got airplanes, mm -hmm. you got cars, and you got boats, and then you got a motherfucking spaceship. I figure if I get five models of those, I can go to a big dis a distributor and then, you know, shoot for the stars. Okay, okay. 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 Well, you got shoot a very powerful model. I don't see me, I don't see me touring forever. That's, you know, it get boring. Like, yeah. I need to be here with the babies because that's, well, that's what really matters. With your intellect, mm -hmm. are you interested or will you ever be uh, into politics? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, not at all. <laughs> Born in the end, should I aim the arrow at Smith? Coco Brown foods deeper than Christmas gifts. This is candy cane sweet, but she still gon' shit. Another hip hop legend passed, but I'm still gon' spit. Well, this time I'm tired of it. Ain't, ain't all y'all niggas tired of it. They gon' be physical hustler. 
Like if, if things trying to make money with me, I can't debate about it. I got to just move where I need to feed these children. I mean, they debating about fake causes yeah. and they ain't really helping them. So That's yeah, the politicians do what the politicians do. They ain't got shit to do with me. So they not dumb. I'm trying to build the kingdom. The sanctuary is my mind. The sanctuary is my mind. The vocabulary flow good. Uh, off one sip of wine. When it's time, we will pass it. I open up the blinds. Every daughter that I have going to be great. And my son's going to shine. So I'm just going to put that in your ear. And make sure that you're right. signed up with all of the um, rights associations, you know, ASCAP, BMI, Sound Exchange, so forth, and and that you have somebody that's monitoring that movement of your music so that you can get paid because you can get paid from your music. No, I mean, you know, right. I'm a street nigga. I keep it real with you. Yeah. When Loud Records sound signed Wu Tang, that was a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They right. really threw like a million dollars on the table and said, we're going to do this. For me, nobody throwing a million dollars on the table. So I'm like, I'd rather get my own hundred thousand dollars and go back to the streets with it and where I know how to eat. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm just selling drugs. Yeah, I know yeah. how to do so many things that people don't understand. Like, it's easy just to sell different merchandise. You ain't got to be a rapper That's to true. hustle and push merchandise. That's, That's right. right. That's facts. You can braid hair. Yeah. That's what we're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about what about movies? movies no yeah movies. movies that too you know the thing about me and movies mm -hmm. is that uh well my son just came in here taking a piece <laughs> <laughs> man this baby something else <laughs> he said i don't know what you're doing but it's my house <laughs> my opinion homeschooling is the best Taught my children A through Z. You think the school's gonna do better than me? Correct me if I'm wrong. The stone comes before the call. Send the <laughs> Where's my cameo? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but the, the, yeah, the thing about movies and me acting in them is I don't like people controlling what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like they get to the point where you practice for the script. And they still change it how you projected it onto the camera. They right. cut it in ways, it, mm. not how you really got it designed, how you want it in your head, how you wanted it out there. And they cut it up into, look, I don't like all that shit. What yeah. I like is if I'm directing it, if I wrote it, then I know I have got control over my shit. Yeah. That's what me and like movies. I don't, you know, I don't want nobody trying to direct me and not wrote mm -hmm. it. Okay. okay. Because so, they put out in the way that you ain't, they fuck your image up. Put it like that. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Are you a writer like that? Like, if, if, like indirect and produce movies? Yeah, I, if, I, I can't really be down with they, whatever they got going on. Well, are I'm, you going to do it yourself? Hustler. You can ask my mom and everything. Are you going to do it yourself? Are you going to uh, maybe produce? Yeah, nice uh, we got a, a movie I'm working on called Polygamy. It's supposed mm. to be like a comedy drama. But you know, that's something I want to put out because that's like my life. That's really my life. It's just that the baby mamas act like it ain't really like that. <laughs> <laughs> they all jealous of each other. But I'm like, we were born on the same planet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you better, you better learn that woman because she gonna be watching your child one day. If you're not here, you she ready to step up to the road. Facts. 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 Yeah, Facts. That yeah. happens. Facts. Facts. That's what's up. Yeah, I yeah. Could, I could give lessons on that. My son's got that uh, father has six baby mamas, and we all get along. So I can. Give right, right. You know what? What really changed uh, Black America? Mm -hmm. I mean, I want I want everybody to hear this. Fuck. What? Okay, go go. If if the America turned off the radio. Yeah. Okay. Like, for the two years. Black America would go up in stocks because okay. we would pull out all of the hustle, hustling tricks. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, our we would be our business and everything would go up. Uh huh. It without music, wrong. because with music, it kind of is like a distraction. Mm -hmm. It's like to me, I got so many cousins. Well, hold on. Could you uh, go back there? <laughs> he wanted to say. He, he, he said, man, listen, I pissed on the floor. I, I left the uh, Right. Hi, the baby. We hear you. Hi. 
Nah, but yeah, so when it comes to music, I got so many cousins and everybody can't be on the same stage at the same time. Yes. And they all want the rap deal, but yeah. they don't understand that if they did something else in the meantime, they could uh, get their money up to do whatever the hell they want to do with their life. Yes. I think we just distracted into this music world that don't really exist. Mm -hmm. I'd rather us do something else like the Amish people. Like we could build our own villages. Fact. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fact. The Jewish got their own shit going on. That's yeah, right. That's true. Yeah. Word. Thanks I just res I respect the Jewish people. I respect the Moorish people. I respect everybody. Mm -hmm. right. It's just the way different forms of life. Yeah, Capadon yeah. was saying that too in our in our last interview that that we need to come together. Yeah, cut the ready off for uh, a few days and see where you see where your mind's at, you know? Yeah, GLF. God yeah. loves family. God loves family. Yeah, great minds think alike. Like uh -huh. you said, Cat was just building on the same thing. On the same thing. Last Deep. school Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. And y'all said really the okay. same exact thing. That's why air like, be like, and see alike. That's right. Why yeah. they did. I love it. Yeah, shout out to Jimmy King. Shout out to Capadonna. You know what I'm saying? Shout oh, out to Jack. Yeah, that's what Big right. Nate All Star, the whole family. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Big Nate. We still yeah. need a trap, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Paul Masson. Shout out to, you know, Paul Masson makes a lot of beats. He's one of my, he's my first cousin. He's actually, uh, his, his mother was my father's sister. They both passed away in the, the same day, but different oh, years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, very much so, very much so. Oh, right. But you know, uh, we are the legacy, you know, and I always, look, I'm the type of person who used to come, uh, not, no one called me, I come with a big black Christmas bag with tasers, <laughs> with all types of stuff in it to sell. And I'll give it to my little cousins, my big cousins, and I say, go sell it, and they all come back with no money. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, how that happened? <laughs> <laughs> no joke. <don't. laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was the type of person who come with so many different accessories, like all the way from Atlanta on a Chinese bus, and then I'll bring all of these gifts to sell so we could build a business. Because that's one thing Wu Tang taught me is to be a business. And I wasn't really fine with doing all the music stuff because Everybody in the hood was freestyling. So it was more like you could wake up and freestyle. That's just a culture. I'm like, yeah. where's our business stuff? Yeah. So that's who I am. I'm, I'm the business guy. Right. That's what's up. That's what's up. So right. uh, new project, when is that coming out? Uh, some of the people that's going to be on that? Well, I'm, I know the Space Jam movie about to come out, and we got uh, a song on there. So. We got a song on Space Jam. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Space Jam 2. Who's doing that one? Who, who's uh, doing that one? Well, you know, I've I seen the paperwork. Just put it that way. Oh. And we, <laughs> okay. yeah, we got Ghetto Superstar. We, we, I think we're going to put Ghetto Superstar on there. So, oh, yeah. dope. Shout out to Maya and everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. That's dope. Yeah. Um, Are you going to do like a tribute album of your dad? I think that would be a huge seller as well. Yeah, I, I thought about doing that. It's just that there's so many heads that had contributed to that first album. I, I want to do it over completely, but then you got to call up this guy, call up that guy without disrespecting him. Okay. Because right. if I don't come out, it, I don't come out it with it right now, like, boom, this is the dirty version part three, nigga. And then they'd be like, you left me out. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, if anything, that's politics. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's well, hopefully right. you make that happen. And I think the fans will love you know it. Know what Bow Wow said? Twelve o'clock dawn. You don't expect, but they still gon' hate the solar monsters. Time it comes to this rapping shit, that's when I start to stress out. Mm. Wow. Okay. So yeah, do do that. family members treat you different now from when you was working a nine to five job to, to the position that you're in now? Is the attitude different? Well, the truth is, 
I had two nine to five jobs in my life. One was honey baked ham. <laughs> the, the thing about honey baked ham, my mother, and we needed money. So me and my mother went to honey baked ham, got a job, and I was taking the hams off the truck. She was packaging the fucking hams. Okay. Putting the, the okay. tag on the shit. Hold on. These babies keep trying to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the big thing about the ham, we don't eat pork. Right. So we we just need, we trying to survive and get money for the family. Mm -hmm. So we over here packaging pork. <laughs> yeah, that's how I was saying. And we like, oh, the pork stink. We ain't, <laughs> really, we, we, we ain't get paid really nothing. It was only okay. a seasonal job, but there was another job I, I had fun at. It was KB Toys. Niggas fired me, said I was still in boxes. Oh. <laughs> I'm fucking talking. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, but I did work at KB Toys and shit. So I was, they kept me in the back where you had to uh, basically put the boxes, the, the tags on the boxes. Mm. And then when I got to the front, I said, everything looked beautiful. I started putting the toys, because the toys always get like lost. And you got to put the toys back. So I'm putting all the toys back. I start sweeping. Then the manager said, you doing too much. Wow. <laughs> you wow. told me to go back. And next day, you know, I was fired. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Yeah, so that, that was, a, you know, some real racist shit right there. Yeah, I was going to say he was too dark to be in the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was definitely the blackest man there. <laughs> but, uh, one of my LLCs is Young Determined Bankers. Wow. So that's, that's, okay. Yeah, that's one of the business. It's, it's not easy to bring forth that into America, but it's going to happen. Okay. Bankers. Mm -hmm. is, yeah. is this going to be uh, black owned only like they did for Black Wall? No, no, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Okay. It's, okay. You know, the thing about Young Dirty, he's taking everybody money. Okay, 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 <laughs> yeah, okay. All money. I don't care if you a damn fish. You uh, isn't bread, this in the blood? Bread. Going back to history, because if you don't know your history, then sometimes you fail to repeat that. Mm -hmm. But this is a good part about your history during my Google research is that your grandfather or great grandfather was actually the owner or owned stock of Manhattan, New York City. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that was a big thing, and it still is a big thing. But children that's learning nowadays, or well, you got to go to certain libraries and you'll look up our research and find our history. Yeah, where right where Central Park is at, that was our shit. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah, the whole Manhattan, you know what I'm saying? But now, or I think July 4th, they're supposed to have something on a reservation in uh, Long Island. Mm. Yeah, fun little powwow. That's what's yeah, up. That's, that's what's, what's up. That's what's up. Powwow. That's what um, yeah, they said we got our own beach and everything out there. Is it Blackfoot? Is it Blackfoot? No, no, I'm Shinnecock, isn't it? Oh, mm. Shinnecock. Okay, okay. That's what's yeah. up. Hey, that's deep. deep. You know, so shout deep. out to everybody. So, everybody so, so, on can you break that uh -huh. down a little bit for a lot of people that's tuned in, that want to know something about their Indian heritage, yeah, that Native. a lot of us are yeah. and don't know it because we can't identify with it and they can't even come up with some of the names. So I'm pretty well, sure that you just said your brand just now yeah, and try it. they probably people never even heard of it. The Shinnecock? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, pretty much if you were Black and you were born in this country, big chances of your ass is fucking Native American. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You Indian. Yeah. And it's just the history been, you know, switched up. But it's always for us and our, our parents mainly to tell us what the fuck happened. Right. Because our children never going to know if I don't tell them nothing. Don't know. That's Facts. Right. My mother always said, don't say you don't know. Go find it. Go find out. Well, that's right. Smart woman. Yeah. That's the best thing I can tell you. If you got this type of skin, then you motherfucking know what you <laughs> You're not just yeah. black, my dog. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta figure it out. And it really comes with uh, like what tribe or whatever comes with the, the origin, like where your people are from. That's why I asked Blackfoot, there's a lot of Blackfoot up there in, in New York. Yeah, I, went, I actually went all the way country. back to Lou Marion. Okay. Mm. okay. I went all the way back, you know, to where the Hawaiian mountains is. All that I went deep, you know. So, but before we weren't even here, we from another place. But now we here, we got to deal with our circumstances. 
And right. it's what we do now that's going to change our, our uh, legacy and our generation. Right. Fire. That's fire. Yeah, you got to know it. That's drew number five. Drew number five. Yeah, the Dropping power. Dropping jewels on us. Did y'all get that? Did y'all hear what he said? Yeah, he just dropped yeah, some you knowledge. Yeah, you got to go, go run it back. Yeah. We're live on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, Spotify, Spotify, DJ, iHeart, yeah, Tidal. Yeah. Don't forget about Tiki Live. Amazon. Yeah, like, and share, follow. Pandora. We're live everywhere. So we we tapping in. And LiveWise Radio Show over there. So we tapping in with all of our audience. And we've got a few people on here. We got Dunny Brown and tapped in. Yeah, big us. shout out to Dunny Brown. Yeah, good big shout out to Candy Tuck and tapped in with us. Young Saint. Mm -hmm. It was so hot, they clicked it off and I had to go back and do it. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, shout out to everybody tapping in. Yeah, yeah you up. already know it's YDP up Y-D-B. in the building, the young dirty bastard. Yeah, that's what's up. Looking like his dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what's yeah. Up. So that's Definitely. what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, can you share your social media uh with the people? Let them know how they can contact you in case of you know walkthroughs, shows, all that good stuff. So after this interview, I don't want them to contact. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It might be the wrong motherfucker that's trying to contact me. <laughs> Look, okay. don't even tell him my name. <laughs> no, no, you already know, Young Dirty Bastard Official. Yeah, Young Dirty Bastard Official. That's young Dirty Bastard Official. Yeah. So you got the weed brand, plug that in again as well so people can stay on the lookout for that. We all love the Puff Puff Pass out here in California. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely in uh, Colorado. Go get that philosophy. Actually, don't get it yet because I'm about to sign the contract any day now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So the ink still. So if you see it, if you see it right now, that means he motherfucking bootlegged it. <laughs> <laughs> don't get the bootleg version. Uh -huh, that's yeah, shout name. out to King Cannabis. There's some good people. You know, they the ones who helped us with that. I got a few other licensed deals I'm doing in different parts of the country when it comes to the uh, the tree. Oh, yeah. dope. That's what's dope. Up. Well, we definitely like to be uh, cannabis band amb ambassadors when we go out and do our thing. So definitely. True that, true that. If you get done, you know. Yeah, if you get done signing it over, hit us up. Because we're going to be out there, I believe that's Tuesday and Wednesdays, uh, traveling around Sacramento area. Um, set up the stand. Going to Phoenix too. Yeah, Phoenix as well. Yeah. It's setting up the stand and basically just spreading that W mm -hmm. out here yeah. on the West Coast. That good smoke, the good clothes. You know, dressing them nicely so everywhere they go, they can take Wu Tang along with them. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Peace they, to the king and queen. Yeah. Peace, God. Peace. Holla. Where were? Y'all come back now. Yeah. What? Hey, you know, I, I like your energy. Y'all got great energy. Yeah, hey, thanks, man. man. We love your energy. Yeah, yeah. It's YDB. Don't it's you go YDB. nowhere. Dirty, dirty, young, dirty,